Everyone, so we're going to uh, continue and this is why, well, unless there's more out to this, but uh, just a video about the, uh, what's this mission for the cryptic tutelage, is that how you say it, of Hildadan, which uh, for those of you who aren't already aware, I'm almost certain is a, oh my, my brain, a Valkyrie, my I don't know, brain went to sleep, uh, hey, no, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna pet, we're gonna pet, but little bit pet it. Pet the pooch. Very importantly, pet the pooch. Aww. <laughs> now, until at, I've been through this uh, three challenges. We did the first one here, which is when we met uh, Hildaran, which was the. Is that where it was? No, there was another one here. It was. Wasn't there over there? You didn't we? It was. Wow. Oh, here. Wow. I knew it was near a cliff, so I just couldn't exactly remember where it was, so... We had to go and do the challenges there, <clears throat> so... And there was two more of these, and I'll tell you what, I only just managed to scrape through in a couple of them, which, um... You've probably seen a few silver, that was, a uh, barely scraped through on the silver, so... I found... Personally, I'm more used to, I think, as much as I love the, uh, action style of it. it i've grown up knowing the proper assassins way to the you know the stealth and assa stealth assassination ways which is what the trial of the raven is about and those sorts of things and um excuse me so you know from my day playing the original ac to the Ezio uh series to you know black flag well not so much rogue but you get my if you get my mean and syndicate even so <clears throat> Unity is debatable, <laughs> um, despite the multiplayer, which I believe was quite well received. But anyway, um, some of these actually I got was probably rather unlucky. I think for the trial of the bear, which is the warrior one, is one of those which it's the a lot of those is focus on either your parrying, like in terms of tips for them, like the the. The Trial of the Raven, which I still personally, I still personally think that for the Trial of the Wolf and Trial of the Raven, I've just been done the wrong way around. The Trial of the Raven is the assassination of stealth, and the Trial of the Wolf is ranged. And in my personal opinion, and I still maintain this, is that Wolf should be assassination because it's cunning, it's stealthy. Wolves can be quite cunning, they can be stealthy if they want to. Uh, ravens are more ranged, which makes complete sense to make it ranged, but apparently Raven is stealth for... Yeah, anyway, so... The assassinations are, take your time. That's my advice. Don't rush through the assassination one. Honestly, don't. Pick your moment, because if you get spotted, because all these count up, whether it's uh, Remaining Anonymous or it's... Uh, you know, there's, well, Anonymous, and you've got, you know, there's a few, depending on which trial it is, it can either be just straight assassination, some of them are collect artifacts, don't collect the artifacts until, you te until you've assassinated everyone, because otherwise once you get the artifacts, the trial ends, it's a little thing to note. Um, one of the, actually, one of the challenges, if I can remember which one it was, I believe it was this one over here, the trial of the Raven, this one, <coughs> Excuse me. The apart from being remaining anonymous was that you had to uh, do air and ledge assassinations. Now I I mean like I missed out on the gold by one ledge assassination. Um, so that was so. I mean I was just doing air assassinations. I did a few ledge ones. I probably should have paid a little bit more attention to those assassination types, but whatever. I. One thing I would say about these trials is that uh, I, I know it happened a little bit more, I think, in, in the bear one, but I wish with all the trials, I mean, this is just my experience. I think maybe other people have had this problem. I'm not 100% sure because this, this this came in the update, which was uh, time of recording this about three, four days ago now because I've had to spend about a day doing this, which has taken up most of the day. I can tell you it's been quite frustrating these on these challenges, especially getting through the silver one. Attempting to solve it, but that's another story. Some of them, so because uh, once you meet Hildadan, um, if you watch the last video, you'll know they get you have to get a certain amount. Of, it's uh, it was four, 
I believe it was four silver, I believe it was, and six bronze, if I remember correctly. So, um, the silver is a little bit more challenging in terms of ne the necessity of it. But, for the, you know, because with the trials and everything inside them, so for the bear one, what's up, for a couple of the bears, it's, you know, either it's, because the, they show you what, what will get you the points, and some of them is parrying or use this ability on X amount. And for a lot, and for some of them, they actually, like, once you've sort of, say, maxed out, you know, the, whether it be, um, using Tears kick ability, or, you know what I mean, or the, whether it's throwing someone off a ledge, or parrying, once you max that out, it'll actually say, it'll take, cross it off the list, so to speak. I wish it did that with all of them. Whether it be errors, number of air assassinations, whether it be number of, uh... Well, I suppose I suppose the only exemption to that rule is probably the the hunter one, but um, but most certainly things with the air, like with the assassination and the parrying, or you know, enemy throwing everything off the ledge and melee attacks and all that sort of thing. I wish you would actually cross them off the list because it, the thing is, you're so busy inside the trial trying to, because you don't get any extra rations. You got one health bar and that's it. And the enemies are quite difficult unless you unless you can really get your nailing your dodge. The parrying is at a little bit unpredictable, I feel at times, but maybe that's just I'm not the best at parrying, that's probably it. But um yes, yeah, so you're doing a lot of dodging, a lot of rolling around, doing dodge rolls and all that sort of stuff if you're not overly fantastic. And I wish it would show you Cross off the list once you've got, you know, your your full ki a full kick damage or fire kick damage or parrying or air air or ledge assassinations. Like tell you what you've actually completed so you can focus on other stuff. Because you won't always be looking at the thing. You won't always be focusing. You'll be focusing on what you're doing. I suppose the only exemption to that, like I said, is probably the hunter one, the the wolf, bec uh, the wolf because, <clears throat> and this is uh, my tip because I actually had to read a couple of tips for doing these, and it it remind me because I'm so used to just going through the game attacking. I'm not unless it's like proper stealth. You know, I don't necessarily. I just sort of rush in because I'm not bothered, you know, or I can just use abilities and get out out of it. When there's a certain way of doing things, I kind of lack on it at times, and it certainly pay that way with the wolf and even the bear one. So, wolf, my advice is, and this is uh, advice I read somewhere else as well, is um, go for the uh, for the for the weak points, the highlighted weak points. And which you have to find me using the Animus Focus ability. And um, you can go through that. They'll come with the weak points. It won't be the easiest way to get to them, to uh, hit them. If you can, stun them, go for headshots. Uh, stun th you get stunned through hitting weak points, and headshots get you the best amount of points. Getting in combo, you're doing fantastically well. So. <clears throat> the one thing I do have a slight problem, I do have a bit of an issue with especially more so in the the range one is the fact at least for me personally is that uh the boat you use which is the mega or mega bow it's a hunter bow anyway which i initially thought would be fan really good i'm glad it's a hunter bow but the type of bow it was it it was almost like you couldn't do automatic like so it might, this is like for when I'm playing the game, if, if say something is say 10 feet away from you, or even maybe perhaps 10, 15 feet away from you, if you do a full drawback on the on the hunter bow in game, you know, and if you got good headshot damage, you should be able to nail a headshot straight off the bat, if your, max, if your weapon's fully up, you know, fully um, uh, maxed out in upgrade and all that should be able to fully e easily do it unless it's your high level elite enemies then obviously but for your regular enemies even with a helmet on should be headshot them from 15 to uh, 10 to 15 yards out uh, 10 to 15 feet out could not hit a straight uh, an arrow straight I'm not even kidding at least I couldn't it always dipped before it and I ended up doing to the chest or the neck instead of it like it would actually show it was going for the head and it went to the neck or the shoulders I'm like and it, it killed them and it's like well that's bloody pointless so that was a bit annoying so the range once you get further in range I 
just try and get a bit close. Try and get within maybe 20, uh, 20 feet of them and get them on their knees. Go for the head and just be really precise about it and go through. That's my advice. Yeah, Raven, take your time. Uh, don't rush through it. Uh, the bear one, I would pay attention to what abilities you have. And I would go for, I would max out, because you get targets in the bear one. And you have to, once you take those four out, it's, your yeah, uh, trial's done. Max out, uh, sorry, ma ma well, yeah, max out the, so, one of them is, uh, you can get max points by, uh, I, at, uh, fire damage, or fire damage kills, one's by full damage, uh, there's another one which is the, uh, run and bash ability, which I practically never ever use in this game. I had to learn how to use it in this trial, and that was pretty annoying. So, um, there's some of them which even it's a really good idea if you'd even parry them and stun block them if you can, which will really help in the long run, I personally think, which I've used for one of the other trials. So, this is the silver, the right, so. The Raven's the one for this one, which I just missed out by a ledger assassination on gold, which uh, was a little bit unfortunate because I've taken a bit of time doing that one, but I got I got through there in the end. And that's what matters. So, so yeah, it would have been f yeah, so it would have been four silver and five bronze. Oh, and just to make it clear, if you get the sil I, it should go without saying, but just for the for, but just for the record, if you get silver. The bronze is automatically counted. I know that shouldn't have to say it, but I'm saying it just in case the 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 curious mind is well. What if it counts? Don't worry. It's like if you get gold, you count as getting bronze. So I know I shouldn't have to mention it, but who knows? Someone might wonder. So yeah, um, this was actually probably one of the more most annoying of them because you're inside a cave most of the time. Not the not the most fun, I gotta admit. So what was this one? This was, yeah, this is the only one I got the uh, all silver. This was uh, a bit, and I, I I suppose this one took me a couple of attempts. Uh, the trial of the raven I got like the second time. That's because the first time was just some stupid, um, Avel behaving stupidly, <laughs> which didn't help in that one. But I got that one, so full run through because I took my time played the assassination style uh, the bear one was getting the full damage which you have to just pick you have to get your timing the the gold the gold I'm sure it's quite a, quite doable I just don't want to put myself through because it was quite stressful doing some of these trials it really was quite stressful so I've got that side of it done I'd rather just I'm happy with the silver I'm happy with the silver and getting the bronze on something and to be fair on some of the trials I've done which just shows the bronze I've actually come I've actually gotten like this like a beta bar which goes from from one you know from one metal type to the other I've actually gotten about almost halfway through that meter bar to the next to uh, you know to the silver to the silver to the silver medal or the silver star what do you want to call it the silver status whatever you call it um, uh, silver badge, let's call it, you know, and I've got halfway through that, and I probably could have gotten the full, uh, probably could have gotten the full one, but, um, without the bronze, but I'm just happy I got them, so, that's absolutely fine with me, so, yeah, look, take your time, uh, <coughs> excuse me, pay attention to what it says and suggestions about, you know, how to get the most points out, um, yeah, even do a bit of parrying, stun block if you can, it'll really help you out. So yeah, that's my advice. <clears throat> now with this one here, this is the Wayland's armor set, which you can get. There's a new river race that came through in an update, which they refreshed them. Apparently doing one in Ireland, but uh, I've, at, at time of this, I'm not, I don't believe they've actually... I think that's to come in a later update, where they unlock the... Uh, um, the river raids in Ireland. So basically, they refret they made it so that at go through them. And I highly recommend if you haven't already to upgrade to fully upgrade your cargo capacity in your raiding ship. The yeah, ship for your river raid, so you can carry the most. It's 400 max. And you go through and do those river raids. Uh, you get all the armor pieces are 450 each, so it'll take you a few raids to go through them. So. It yeah, a little painstaking. The only things I haven't gotten yet are 
the ship pieces, but I the sail and the hull, but I'm just it's 200, which I really cannot be bothered to go and to go and get. If I'm being brutally honest with you. Yeah, so this is the whale and stuff. This is on mythical, so I have upgraded. I think it actually looks uh, pretty cool, to be honest. You know, um, there's oh, actually get the um, armor, the uh, armor, the <laughs> there, the headpiece going on, which um, I think this actually looks pretty cool. You know, it's you know, it's got a very, it's very distinctive, and I don't mean that in that you know when people say distinctive in like a bad way. I mean that in the best possible way. You know, uh, the, I mean just the weapons just there for the sake of it. But I think it actually looks you know pretty cool and everything. So, got the cloak and everything. So that actually is pretty cool. So, let's just have a look at the, because I have this is the first time I've actually I haven't actually put it on yet. So. That's actually, that's a, not a bad, I'm trying to swivel around the camera, so, that's actually not too bad, uh, a cloak, I probably wouldn't have wanted it to be, uh, looked, um, worn, would be the right word, but, it is what it is, you know, I mean, look, to, to be, to come from, it's a new armor set, that actually looks pretty cool, from the river raid, so you know what, not all of them, though, either some really drabby set that's just, there for the price it's just there to grind it out but i think in terms of visually speaking for aesthetically speaking this is probably worth getting you know honestly um i must confess i completely forgot to look at the perks of it i must admit i completely forgot to do that so uh, add some of your assassination damage when your melee damage uh, to your melee damage when equipped additionally increase the assassination damage when equipped so yeah i mean look I, I'm a bit surprised there's more focus on assassination damage to me. This look this looks more like a a proper knight that stuff the a noble like a a very high ranking knight might wear, you know, which is very much blunt, you know, out there sort of in the thick of it, not skulking away stealthily. I did, did I know. Just seems a bit weird to me, so um yeah, but it is the way it is, you know. I'm not fussed by it, but it's just because it looks uh, I think it looks cool anyway, so. <laughs> it's, you know, in, in my opinion, it is worth the grind. Now, uh, if the, one of the things they recommended with this one, with the River Raids, was that you get additional, um, you get additional uh, cargo uh, supplies if you, you know, if the you're on the max, uh, what do you call it, the, um, uh, the tougher, you know, the things go from your low, uh, high, heavy defenses and everything. So, there was that. And it, it only increased by like, from 50 to 60. So, I mean, if you don't want to do the 6, I mean, look, honestly, if you go to 60, then at the end of it, you max it out to the point where 360 out of 400 is the best you do, otherwise you only get 40, so, or you can do it 50 and go it in through almost through an even set of numbers, it, I know it's an odd, but if you know what I mean, so, you just go through to you get to your 350, 400, so, it's up to you which way you do it, it doesn't really matter, but, um, yeah, look, I thought it would be more like 50 and then jump to like 80 supplies, but it was only 60, I mean, who knows, it might be different for some other people, depending on what river you take. I'm not sure, I only went through the first two. I didn't, uh, by the way, the, uh, out of the three that you'll see, I took the, the the bottom and the middle, I didn't go through the top one. So maybe the top one ends up being 70 or 80. I honestly don't know, but um, that's just my experience through it. So, but yeah, so that's the Wayland's Army you get through uh, from the update, came through from the update, when additions for the river raids, uh, uh, I suppose reset if you want to call them. Um, you can get from Van, 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 Van. I, 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 I can't remember how you say his name, but it's good enough to so get from those. But uh, anyway, waffling well, on long enough, let's uh, go and talk to Hildegard. To the Valkyrie. And his uh, heart. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> time spent. Um. <laughs> That took a fair amount of time to get these uh, medals. I mean, sure, it's not in the days, but, you know. Put the hours in. 
got them. I don't. I really hope I don't have to get all gold in them because that's going to be so annoying. I can't even begin to tell you. To be honest, if we have to get gold in them eventually, I'm just going to look up tutorials on how to actually ace each. Well, apart from the one, I'll look up tutorials on how to ace. I, well, I, actually, actually, I stand much correct on myself on that one. The one that was one legislation away, I was I would have gotten gold, which is one near uh, London. Um. That one I probably could do gold, but the others I'd really have to look at a tutorial how to ace those ones. Um, so, hey, I got hey I got at least bronze. I'm happy. <laughs> Just saying though. Hilderan, I return. Yes, very good. Your skills are improving. There is a reason I'm doing this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course. All will be revealed once we manage to open Freya's gate. What lies beyond? You seem to know much about it. I know much about many things, Wolfkiss. For Valkyrie, I'd expect that. You dodge my questions like they are arrows. <laughs> no kidding. You ask questions like you have a right to the answers. Keep training, Eivor. There is a reason to all this. Patience. <laughs> I'd like to see your wares. Okay. So what have we got here? Go for okay. So what of these weapons would I get? Uh, oh, I mean, is there much point? I don't know if I wouldn't bother with. <clears throat> I suppose if I was gonna get anything, I might get that just for the sake of it. Maybe even eh, blue. Oh, screw it. This is the tricky one. <clears throat> Uh, I don't. I wish it told me what type of bow that's going to be. That would be really good, actually. It looks pretty good. Uh, combo. F oh no. Uh, increasing uh, hit points. I don't normally go for weapons for hit crit. Uh, to hit um, crit. Uh, the middle. I don't normally use those to hit uh, crit points anyway. But go for criticals. I mean. So. Oh wait. Is that? Hold on. Whoa. whoa, whoa is that? Oh, that's a uh, blade. What am I talking on a headshot? I thought that was a no. It is a bow. Oh, it just looks. It just looks weird from that picture. It doesn't really help. So, I uh, got a few axes. I would honestly. I don't. I think I would at the moment. Uh, I wouldn't mind a better, especially for the character customization to customize weapons. I wouldn't mind a better customization for the uh, uh, for the flails. So I think I'll get that one. And look. Chris, uh, Chris, fire damage when weapons ignite is pretty good because this could do some serious damage when stuff is ignited. So I'd probably go with that one. Yeah, this some ones look pretty good, but I've got customization options for these, so I'm not so fussed about it at the moment, to be honest. Uh, Suter's mercy. May it serve you well. I need nothing. You should go train then. Nine out of fifteen. Bronze. Oh, okay. So where's the other ones? Oh my God. Okay. Oh boy. So got these and the ravens. Okay. So what would? Oh God. How am I going to get to? Is there anyone that's close to? Yes, there is. I might give the the bear and the rave uh, and the raven just a, a quick try. Not the hunter one. I seem to struggle with. I really do. You see, uh... <laughs> yep, it's there. Okay. At least I don't have to use this armor set for um, when I'm inside, because I've not graded it anyway, so... It's one of those more aesthetic things that I wouldn't really... Because, yeah... 
<laughs> so, let's have a look. Bear one. Russian bash kills. Okay, and stun ones. Interesting. So what are we using? The Galo... The Galoglack? Okay. Wait. Do we not have any... Weapons? Seriously? We don't have any weapons. Are you kidding me, right? Alright. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll try it. I, wow. <laughs> go... F go... F uh, full hands on, okay. Interesting. <laughs> A little worried. So, what now? Wait, is this like an arena or something? Okay. If this is like an arena, I'm happy with that. Great. Oh, I wreck him. Fun. Which one of you is heavy first, eh? No, you don't. No patient. We've got you now. Really, have you? Make you bleed. Okay. If you just gave me assholes, then you can just wait. Press harder. Yeah. Oh god damn it. Thank you. We'll got you. There we go. So, which one of you is next? Does she just want to be an asshole? Okay. Fine. There we go. Alright. On. Ah, oh, that's better. Ah, take this. Okay. Right, so eliminate those. Okay. Run and bash. A oh, Russian bash, sorry. Alright. I'll focus on that next one. Russian bash is so unpredictable. It's annoying, actually. <gasps> ah! I wish you didn't have to be so up and clo up close and personal with it. What the hell? I pressed the bloody thing. What am I doing wrong? Ah! This is annoying. <sighs> Oh, come on! I pressed the bloody thing! Oh, that is some serious bullshit. Any more? Oh, I've got to do I have to build it up naturally this time. Oh, crap. Okay. 
And uh, always oh, there a certain oh maybe there's a certain distance oh crap. Uh, right. That right. I I was pressing the Russian bash when I was right up to him and it just wasn't working for me, which I find <sighs> that's annoying. Yeah, I know. The Russian bash I haven't quite got down, and maybe for obvious reason, because it's just... It seems so ludicrous to me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but... I just think it seems a little bit ludicrous. Like, the Russian bash... It's almost like I have to be right on top of them, which... That wasn't the way I thought the ability worked. Which is a bit weird. So... Okay, how has that not worked? So, are the conditions I have to meet? I, I find that extraordinary. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, bloody work, will you? Are you serious? Okay, I have an automatic problem with this. I have not seen where if you're in the middle of an ability use, you can't get hurt. And yet apparently that doesn't work with this. Do something useful, you? Are you serious right now? <laughs> what? I just pressed the button right on top of it, and the Russian bash did not work. It didn't work at all. Okay. That's stupid as hell. It didn't work. The rush... I was on top of a player, and it didn't work. What? Ah, oh, I can't use that, can I? Bugger in hell. Ah, come on, just bloody attack me already. Come on. Make you Jesus. Oh, for God's sake, come on. You can burn for all I care. Well, come on, then. Stop fracking around. Come on. No, that's not right. Oh, for God's sake. Stop on the map. Yeah. utterly useless. They want... Are you serious right now? Come on. Oh, bloody attack me! Stop saying that! You're useless, you guys are! Die, you. Takes you an age to just attack me! God! Time to feed the crows! Come on, then! Yeah. <sighs> it's annoying! I'm just going to use stun attack, screw it. The Russian bash is just not working for me. Period. Which is really weird for me. Mm. Feel stronger already. We are going to play you. Good luck with that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes, yes. Thank you. Stick a blade in the dog's arse. Okay, that's just... Wouldn't it? No, you don't. 
Oh, I hate when they cheap. That's a cheap trick, that is. Oh god, I hate using spears! I bloody hate it when they use spears. Ah, that's annoying as hell! Stop using spears! Bloody hate it when they do that. Go! No, 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 no! Well, give me health back! Oh, you asshole! Oh my god, I grabbed him and the ability didn't work. Oh, that is bullshit. That is bullshit. I just activated the ability and he grabbed the guy and it went straight through him. No, 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 no. That I call incredible bullshit on that. I call spectacular bullshit on that. That ability is not working for me, hands down. I must either be doing something unbelievably wrong with the use of that ability, or the ability, for me personally, is not working at all. And I've actually got it to work twice. Ever since then, I cannot get... I can't get it to work. At all. That really annoys me. <sighs> no. Not going to put myself through that frustration. Alright, look, I'm going to end this one here. I was really hoping we'd just go inside the stupid ca that cave, but no, i got to get through more bloody challenges, which is annoying as hell. So, luckily I only have to get two more silver medals. I swear to God, if I do any more after this, you're shitting me, Hilda Rand. I don't give a damn if you're a bloody Valkyrie. Don't piss on us. Let's go inside that goddamn through that door with that amulet or whatever, do not shit on us with getting more bloody mouths. And God forbid, do not make me get cold. I will be so unbelievably pissed off with you. Ah, that's annoying. Anyway, I'm going to have to do that in the next um, day or two. That's going to that's gonna be annoying as hell. Anyway. I was hoping to go through that door after doing that. But, um, yeah, at least I attempted to that challenge. That's... Uh, that Russian bash is doing my head in, in every single way form. But, um, yeah, anyway. Ah, I'll see you next time we have, uh, hopefully finished those and, uh, get through that bloody door. God, she's made me work the hell out for it. I didn't give her two shits of your Valkyrie, you know? We mm. Anyway. See you next time.